Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the St. John's County Show that's on in the morning. Here we are. We're here. There we are. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we made it. We are without Troy this week. Yes. It does put an added strain on everyone's life. Uh, the, everybody's life is harder without Troy, <sighs> and he'll be glad to hear that. Good. <laughs> Come back. Hurry up. Look at the lights. Come back. Push. Ah, just kidding. Troy's out there enjoying Iceland yes. as much as you can enjoy Iceland. Right. <laughs> In the winter. <laughs> who, who goes to Iceland for anything? I don't know. Literally understand. anything. Yeah. Was it a Bjork concert? Like, who's, what is he out there for? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we wish Troy the best out there in Iceland. Yeah, good luck. Hope he's, he's probably not watching the show. Probably freezing his nuts off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We've got stuff to talk about today. Okay. We've got things. Hot topics. We've got, uh, oh, a nice send off for the St. Augustine High School. Good. Boys. We should. Men this for is football. Exciting. Yes. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. I think 2005, if I'm not mistaken, was the last time they were undefeated going into the championship game. And they, they won that, by the way, wow. back in the day. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. And this is a strong team. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, the send off and how you can be part of it. Mm hmm. I would encourage everybody to be part of this. Send our guys off in style. We've got a terrible today story. Okay. Yep. Okay. Pretty wild. Wild. Very final destination. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's some things I want to talk about that I don't want to tease. Okay. Here yeah. for today. We've got a ton on the list of stuff to talk about today. You're being very tempestuous, very tiptoeish around okay. a lot of things yep. here. Yeah. Anastasia Island, chosen as the site of HDTV's 2024 Dream Home. Yeah, it's a thing. I'm seeing that in the blogs. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Davey's thrilled about it. Well, we'll see. We'll get into it. I, mean, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll learn something. <laughs> and then we've got some holiday events coming up. Oh, good. Uh, we've got stuff. Because we need more of those, too. <laughs> yeah. You, you think we're not full on those oh. already? <laughs> I'm dizzy. You guys. <laughs> so many. Oh, well, we'll talk about the one that we went to yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Um, so we will get into all that very, very soon. But first, I will remind you of, of the world-famous... The Florida Man Games. Ooh. Happening on February 24th. We are going to... We're going to have a full description of the games out soon. You know, some people asking, well, what, what exactly do the games consist of? Mm -hmm. So, we'll put that out soon. Okay. Yeah. I think a lot of people are going to be very excited about that. Very nice. Because this is just... It's weirder and wilder than you think it is. Did you send a nice Christmas card to the... Um what is it? The, who the Avengers that are coming? What are their names? <laughs> Ice and Nitro. Oh, no, I did not. What are they? No. American Gladiators. Yes. What do you call them? Yeah, Avengers. The Avengers. <laughs> ah, I mean, they'll take you know that. what I meant. Gladiators, yeah. superheroes. <laughs> sure. The Avengers. You better connect with them. Make sure they're still good. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I've got. I've actually got that on my list. Awesome. To uh, get with them and make sure they know about the judging and all that stuff. Cool. What the events will consist of. All that good stuff. Yeah. Going to have a mechanical alligator out there that everybody's very excited about. Yep. Jeff at Florida Party Works. Very cool. Supplying that. Appreciative of that. Uh, our friends at Ripley's, believe it or not, are going to be out there. If, uh, if you're looking to get in shape for the Florida Man Games, by the way, mm. if you have purchased a ticket, Amp Jim here locally, going to give you a free month. That's membership. cool. That is pretty awesome. And if you're a competitor yeah. from St. John's County, if you get chosen for a team, which is going to happen soon, uh, they will give you three months to train out there. That's amazing. At Amp Gym. Yeah. Okay. Getting ready for the games, man. Right. It's going to be wild. It's going to be weird. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be all right. And it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> TheFloridaManGames.com. Get tickets while they still exist. Our friends at Bozard Ford Lincoln are celebrating 74 years here in St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. Bozard Ford Lincoln is here for you. You can experience their extensive selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, quick and quality servicing, and their parts and accessory shop that's second to none. Make sure you grab a signature burger at Ford's Garage while you're there. They also offer services from home delivery to company fleet servicing. At Bozard Ford Lincoln, your family is their family, and they're driven to inspire. They're also going to have our trucks out there. You know, as part of one of these events, you're going to have to hook a trailer to a trailer hitch on a truck. Oh, really? It's a very Florida thing to do. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not very talented at that, apparently. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the easy... Look, it's not the easiest thing to do if you've never done it before. I'll put it that way. True. 
So we hope our contestants have experience doing this. Otherwise, they're going to struggle a little bit. Yeah, could be. Going to have to pull that trailer over to that hitch and get it situated. Right. right? Get it balanced. With some copper in the back. <laughs> 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 All, All right. right. Big shout out to Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Sub, St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Chris Lucero, Bail Bonds, Griffin Service, Amara Med Spa, Willow in Maine, and the Volano Holiday Village. All right. Who we'll talk about soon. But first, officially, good morning, Davey. How are you, sir? Good. It's Tuesday. It's almost the weekend. We're holding on here. Yeah, man. Just, every day is a, one more step for, forward <laughs> to the weekend. <laughs> Jeez. Well, well it's, I mean, it's tough. It's a holiday. Yeah, I mean, it you is. You can feel the heat. I mean, Everybody's a little crazier. There's a little more pressure on yeah, everybody. A lot going on. Yeah. Clay, how are you back in the booth? Oh, I'm great. How about you, Pete? Doing well. Mm -hmm. Doing well. Waking up this morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see, man. Question of the day. Oh, right. We had to do that. Right. Yes. Okay. Oh, did you not prepare this? Of course, oh, I have joking. plenty to choose from here. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> when you were a kid, what was your favorite toy? Hmm. Like, what? What did you play with, or did you have like a special thing? Yeah. So my one of my first toys I remember was my parents got me a book called Spot the Dog. Oh, okay. Spot. He was a dog. Yeah. And it came with a toy, Spot the Dog. Oh, good. Yeah. So that was uh, that was my favorite toy for a long time. And after I was a kid, I had no idea what happened to it. We were rummaging through some stuff in my dad's garage, um, probably looking for something to get in trouble with, uh -huh. newspapers to burn or something. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> and came across Spot the Dog. At the age of like 14. Okay. Yeah. So he's still alive. I was excited. Still well, there. I don't know where he is now. Oh, no. You don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. Sad. Nope. Yeah. 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 I had a pound puppy and it was peppermint. And I still have it to this day. Really? Yeah. It was like my. That's impressive. I, it went everywhere with me all the time. I was like one of those kids. But yeah, I really wanted a pound puppy. And uh, my mom was like, I'm not going to buy you this toy if you don't play with it. I want to see you play with it. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> still have it. I'm 24 years old. I still have the dog. <laughs> yeah. Not worried about mom at all. No. Yeah. No, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's your, yeah. that was your toy. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about you, Clay? Uh, I used to have G.I. Joes, and I'd, like, set up a whole battle in my right. room. And, yeah. The but battles I, with toys were never as fun as they seemed on the commercials. You know, it always looked like kids were having fun battles, and they were knocking stuff over. Yeah. And there was... That's how I felt about the Knight Rider Big Wheel. That I kid fun, looked guys. like he... Stop trying to steal my fun. Yeah, guys. right. Um, the, all the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it was just never as fun as the commercials. No. It just wasn't. Yeah. The G.I. Joes were fun, though, because they were more poseable and they could do... I love doing backflips, like ninja backflips. Like their joints yeah, moved a little bit more. Their joints moved a lot more. Yeah. They had rubber in their joints, so it was they were uh, a little more flexible. Yeah. Well. Yeah. The Kung Fu grip. Yeah, something like that. This guy. I did good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say out there uh, in the comments. Yeah. We now go to you, Davey, again, for a quick check of the weather. Emotional! That's the first thing that came to my mind when I look at this guy. It felt very emotional. Today. Emotional yeah. today. Okay. <laughs> um, whatever that traffic report uh, or weather report <laughs> means, such a such a uh, off the wall answer. I can't Eastern even remember what report it is. I think it was very poetic. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Those guys up in Jacksonville are just like, hey, we're getting our title back. These guys are giving poetic weather reports now. <laughs> That's good. Isn't it for the people? <laughs> <laughs> that poetic weather report brought to you by Great Expectations Realty and Auction. You can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com, gerealty.us. We now get a Clay Blaster for our morning traffic report, Clay. Uh, oh, that's oh, not the right that, camera. Okay. All Shoot, right. Man. There. Hey, the traffic uh, anyway, cams are back. Yeah, so... The highway is not looking terrible. No, it's not. Town, it is. Really? Yeah. Okay. Traffic bad on the way to work. Traffic bad. Okay. Yeah. Why does the highways always look so nice and serene? I don't know. I don't is get every, it either. I don't think anybody takes the highways. Yeah, around, I wouldn't at this point. The bottom, here, they all cut through town. Bottom right looks very photographic. Yeah. Beautiful cinematic yeah. shot right yeah. there. Very yeah. nice. Okay. All right. Thank you, Clay. Yep. Yeah. Brought to you by, of course, Amara Med Spa. Ugh. You can experience the ultimate rejuvenation at Amara Med Spa, where science meets tranquility. 
They're world-class treatments. And we're not joking when we say world-class treatments, by the way. Mm -hmm. We'll transport you to a state of pure bliss. And there's facials. We'll unlock your natural glow. You have high standards. So why go to a place that doesn't? Go to Amara. They have high standards just like you. For the perfect harmony of wellness and beauty. Choose Amara Med Spa. Visit them online at theamaramedspa.com. So yesterday they featured a bride who had really painful acne on their um, social media Ooh. and cleared it up. And it was pretty awesome really? to see. Yeah, That's so a tough really... thing to do, man. People try creams Absolutely. and lotions and solutions and it was chemicals. Pretty awesome. Yeah, go on their socials. You can see the before and afters. They look so good. Awesome. Okay. That's one to check out. Okay, speaking of checking out, Trevor Lawrence checked out of the Jaguars game last night with a scary what ankle happens? injury, man. Oh, boy. It looked bad. Yeah, it looked like a situation where, you know, sometimes your own guys get pushed into you and <sighs> looks like he just got stepped on by his own guy, man. Now, the and the first look at it was just a sprain. So, we're, we're, right. they're doing the MRI. I think they're going to announce, oh, man. That was the, uh, yeah, that was the diagnosis. It's going to take a little while to get there. I know, okay. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I just get excited. I was going to build up the tension a, a little bit around this. For me. I just get very into it. Okay, I'll be quiet. Okay. <laughs> as soon as Taylor Swift is not dating Travis Kelsey anymore, <laughs> we won't over. hear any more football comments it's out of this over. guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it was scary, man, uh, especially when he tried to stand up and could not stand up. That's usually a, a sign of something much worse. But uh, yeah, as far as we know right now, it is just an ankle sprain. It could be a very bad ankle sprain. You never know. But the fact that it's just a sprain mm -hmm. is good news. Um, that it's not something worse. That it's not something broken. So, man, we wish Trevor the best. We'll be watching those watching those reports. Man. There are like five other players that were injured too, right? I think the, the wide receiver. Yeah. One of our really good wide receivers went down. Yeah. Brutal. I didn't watch the game. <sighs> no, we have I to get ready. To boot, I had nowhere morning. to bootleg it. Right. Did you see the really cool thing though at the Jag Stadium that um, they did the uh, like the flashing lights? It was cool in the beginning. Like you downloaded this app and everyone's uh, phone turned into like this kind of like a flashing light moment. It kind of no. looked like the crowd in unison. It was pretty cool. It was like uh, 60,000 people in unison. It was cute. I didn't neat. see that. Yeah. It was their first Monday night football game in what, 12 years? Right. I think. Yeah. Wow. People were yeah. pumped. Wow. What a. They're probably not asking for another Monday night football game anytime soon. No, it was kind of bad luck for us. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's not good. Not good. But we wish Trevor the best. Mm -hmm. We want to see him out on the football field, man. Yeah, man. Uh, also, we had a great time with Big Brothers Big Sisters yesterday. <laughs> what a riot. That was doing great. The, <laughs> doing the Santa and the Elf. I think, it's, I think the funniest part about our Santa and Elf trips with Big Brothers Big Sisters is that the Elf is so much taller than Santa. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's like definitely just a the visual elf. there. Yeah, it yeah. is funny. Yeah. <laughs> I did enjoy the uh, Van Strange uh, Santa yesterday. That was fun. Yep. yep, White Trash Santa. He was great. Yeah. He was great. He was bringing the trailer park to the golf course. Woo. Yeah. Those luscious locks. They Lush, were great. Yeah, the ladies loved the luscious locks. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm realizing something through Van Strange is that uh, women love Van Strange a lot more than they love Pete Melfi. Uh, yeah, see? It's very, uh, it's very sad. I mean, I might just adopt Van Strange as my personality after or this. Maybe thing. just take hints of his personality and you can refold it into yours. I don't think you can take hints of that personality. I think you have to go all the way <laughs> with Van Strange, man. It's all Van or no Van. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a whole lot of fun. Of course, yeah. uh, they were raising money for Big Brothers Big Sisters out there. Big golf tournament. I think 22 teams were out there. Yeah. And we went and stopped by and took pictures with everybody. Tried to talk everybody into giving uh, giving up some money for some raffle tickets. Raffle tickets. They I think we did pretty auction. good. Yeah, we did great. I think yeah. We did pretty good. I know the there. Jimmy Jam basket was out there too. Did you see that on the uh, silent auction table? It was oh, pretty cool. I didn't see that. Yeah, it went for big bucks. That was okay. good. Yeah, good, good, man. Yeah, yeah. They have a great time out there. It's always a great event, and um, I'm sure you can find pictures online soon. Yeah, if they're not up. Yeah, already. And uh, see Van Strange in a sleeveless Santa shirt. Right. Holding on for dear life with that golf cart. Right. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> boy, your friend. Your friend. Oh, my friend Melanie is oh, a boy. Best, best <sighs> golf cart driver in the world. That's <laughs> a lie. That's a lie. I should have known when I heard that New Jersey accent or whatever oh, that up north gosh, accent was. Literally, yeah. Should have requested another driver right then. <laughs> I had to ride on the back of this thing holding on. My blood pressure was up. For yeah, dear that. life. 
Yeah. And every time she uh, hit the pedal to go over a bridge, well, it was a rickety wooden bridge out there <laughs> in Marsh Creek. She, I think she messed up where the the gas and the and the and the brake was because it was every t- it was more of an acceleration every time we got nervous about something. <laughs> oh my God, I hope she doesn't drive Uber. Oh I man, hope she doesn't drive people probably, around for a living. Probably not a good side hustle, boo. Hey, <laughs> so, uh, but it was yeah, <laughs> it was fun. It was so fun. fun, a whole lot of fun. Big shout out, to big brothers, big sisters. Yeah, um, very awesome golf tournament. Saw a lot of good friends out there. Yes, sir. Had some fun, laughed. A lot. And almost died. Yes. Plenty of times. And they gave us a sandwich at the end. That they did. like our consolation prize. We had some pub subs at the end. Yeah. It was great. That was actually the best pub sub I've ever had. Usually they're dry and blah for me. This was good. Wow. I like this. Wow. So, well, there's a lot of people who want to kick you out of Florida now. That's just okay. For, I'm all right with it. Uh, I've got just other, for other, saying that. I've got other collateral. Don't worry about it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. The St. Augustine High School uh, football team. Going to get a pretty awesome send-off yeah, here good. tomorrow, I think. Yes, Wednesday. Football team at St. Augustine High School will depart with a motorcade led by the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. That's going to happen at 11.30 a.m. as they head out to Tallahassee. The motorcade will uh, be passing by Sebastian Middle School, traversing to US-1, and turning up King Street through West Augustine near James Webster Elementary School and RJ Middle School. R.J. Murray Middle School. Mm-hmm. Um, a big shout out to Sheriff Hardwick for coordinating the motorcade here. And yeah. uh, the St. Augustine community is encouraged to join along in the route. Can we pop that route up, Clay, so people can see? There we go. Oh, wow. That's where we're going here. So they say, hey, if you want to come out, uh, obviously you can come out at the school and send these guys off at the school. Well, that's probably where most people Is will that be. where most people? Okay. Probably. But if you are somewhere along this route or you plan to be or you can be and you want to bring signs and wave those as, as show of a, a show of encouragement to the guys, then that would that would that would probably make their day. Could you imagine? Yeah. Putting in all that work, all that hard work all year long. Here you go. You're headed to the championship game and your whole community is out there supporting you and cheering you on. Uh, even if they, they can't it's take gonna a trip to Tallahassee. It's going to be a super special moment. Yeah. It really is, man. Definitely something that they'll never forget in the rest of their lives. Oh, yeah. It's definitely shaping some great inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, everyone's, as uh, you said, most people will go to the high school. Uh, what do you mean? You just kind of line up along the route anywhere? Yeah. The, yeah. We did. I was there for a send off a few years back, and uh, it was it was a playoff game, though. But, yeah, you just stand outside there at the high school with signs, uh, get ready to cheer, bullhorns. Cool. cool. Very nice. All that stuff. You, you can't really see any of the road names, but oh, well, hey, you trying. guys can zoom in. You, you know, know what? Yeah, they, locals get it. They yeah. do. I think <laughs> they have. I saw this on maybe the school board website. Oh, were, the PTO. Saint Augustine okay, High maybe school that was PTO it. St. Augustine but, High School yeah. PTO. Maybe that was it. That so you can it. go to their Facebook page and zoom in a little bit more if and you want. I will tag them in comments in that. case people can see okay, that. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so that'll be a, a great moment for our, our guys, our St. Augustine High School football team. Um, very cool. Yeah, yeah, very cool, man. I'm very excited about that. I will say, unfortunately, we will not be able to broadcast it. Oh, sad face. We were rejected by the Florida High School Athletic Association because they've got Bally Sports. <sighs> Always a bridesmaid. Valley Sports. Always a bridesmaid. Dang yeah, never it. Never heard of them. Well, they're <sighs> better than us, apparently. I don't know. They have some kind of They've ninja. got more money than us, yeah. that's for sure. They've got ninja cameras that we don't have or something. Mm. They can zoom in and see a fly on a nose or I something. I would actually bet that our cameras are better than theirs. Well, then why aren't we selected? Well, they're a big, big organization with lots of money. Mm-mm-mm. Probably have a partnership or something. I'm going to get seven on my side. <laughs> 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 That's what we used to say in the city. I know we don't right. have seven here, but yeah. Right. I was going to say, is that a station here? <laughs> yeah. But I know what you're talking about. Right, yeah. With one of those investigative right. reporters yeah. that right. just walks up with a camera ben and is Decker, a, is a yeah. dick to everybody. I'm calling Ken. That's yeah, I'm just... calling Ken. Yeah. Yeah, Ken Ken's not the guy anymore. You know, they no, replaced Ken with a guy na- whose name rhymed. Ben. Oh. Ben. Ben, ben yeah. Decker. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. He does the restaurant report, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, some of those guys could be a little nicer. That's yeah, a, I think so too. They were interesting won. guy. Like I've worked with him before, and he's a interesting guy. Is he? In, quote, he's the quote, same on the camera as off the camera. Really? Oh, interesting. No. Mm. Yeah. He hmm. talks with the same fake voice. Does he really? Yeah. Uh, wow. So he always has like stage voice. <laughs> so cool. Nice enough guy though. <laughs> okay. Well, good. You know, as long as he doesn't treat the people in the office like he treats some of these people that he goes on scene for. Yeah. The restaurant. I don't like shaming things for to be on the right side of the, right. Of the road. Right. Yeah. Right. It's just kind of an old hacky gimmick. Honestly, yeah, it really yeah, is. And yeah. people don't appreciate it, especially in St. Augustine where we support our local right. businesses. Like, when you go in and start attacking local businesses, <laughs> you lose people around here. True. You really do. We, we, we got to give people a chance. Mm -hmm. uh, not Saint everybody's Augustine's perfect every sensitive. single day. We are yeah. a very different community than anybody else. That's we really, really it. are. Yeah. We really, really are. And we support local businesses and we give our local businesses a chance. Yes, sir. Uh, especially to make things right, man. So, yeah, that's just my two cents about that whole gimmick. Mm hmm. I thought we, I've thought about doing those in the past, but again, it's just like, I, I feel like you come off as kind of an ass. Dude, right, totally. So, well, anyway. I mean, it's no secret. We, there's a famous blogger that we won't talk about, but... Uh, uh, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? And they're out yep. of this town. Sorry, you don't yeah. act like that. Yeah. It's not nice. That's the truth. All right, man. Uh, some very unfortunate news that we have to report uh, mm. here this morning. Very sad incident uh, last night as a six-year-old child struck and killed um, out on King Street last night. Uh, it happened around six o'clock. Mm. It was dark. It's really dark out uh, yeah, at that time. Street lights are. Some of them are out. Some of them are on over there. Just behind. Yeah. It's my hood. Yeah. So I know the visibility is not amazing out there at this time. But uh, apparently, this child uh, was struck out there uh, on the road. Nobody stopped. Just kept going. God. Um, so the St. John's County Sheriff's Office doesn't have much to go on right now as far as finding this individual. Um, but I, uh, you know, the, today we've just got families that are just in such deep pain, man, and, and are hurting so much. And if anybody ever, if anybody out there has any information, mm -hmm. I mean, anything, if somebody called you and said, Hey man, I just hit something. We, you know, yeah. this, uh, truthfully, somebody may not even know that they, that they, did this to a person. Somebody may just think they had a pothole in the, you know, you never know when you're driving and it's dark and you don't necessarily see anything. But if, if you were in an incident around that uh, area, we, we hope somebody comes forward. We hope somebody has some information because the police just don't have anything to go on. It was again, dark. There weren't a ton of people on that road at that point. So oh just gosh. nobody saw the vehicle. Nobody saw the vehicle. And police were doing a great job of just going to neighboring businesses and looking for security cameras and things like that. But as far as I know, uh, all the security cameras that were at like the Dollar General mm -hmm. and these places were facing the doors. You know, they weren't yeah. facing the road, so they didn't get a shot of the road either. So um, if you have any any information out there, you're urged to call the St. John's County Sheriff's Office uh, with any tips that you might have so that, so that this family can... Uh, Find some closure. Find just, some closure, uh, right? I mean, it's going to be hard, hard for these folks going forward, regardless. Yeah, you know, but um, but help them find help them find some closure. I can't imagine right now what they're going. Through. I know, I can't imagine it all, man. Six year old child, like that's like kindergarten age, right? Right, absolutely, yeah. <sighs> I know, Heavy. It's been a t it's been a tough few days. It's been a tough emotional few days. Yeah, a lot of tragedy for St. John's County. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, again, our, our, our hearts just go out to you guys, uh, uh, to the families affected and, and the whole community mm -hmm. out there in West Augustine, because this is, I know this is hard for everybody. If you um, see something, say something, please, everybody out there. That's right. <clears throat> that's right. Man. Uh, all right. It is Gas Buddy Gas Report time. Okay. And uh, let us know where you are seeing the best prices for gas in the comments, please. It's going to help us all out. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would be good if I actually went to the link and checked out. Oh, it's not going to be good gas. news. I'm going to tell you not that Not going to be good news? Nope. That's probably why your computer was probably yeah. protecting you. <laughs> there you go. My computer notes. Mm -hmm. Emotions. 
Um, let's see. Well, 289, 289, that's down from the lowest price yesterday. We, 294 okay. was our lowest price yesterday, but wow. then it jumps right up to 294. Uh, that 289 was at 715, 207, by the way. Okay. At the Circle K. Mobile and Circle K at 800 South Ponds at 294. We got our Owens at 780 South Ponds at 294 as well. The Shell at 146 King, 294. Uh, the Gate on Mizell Road, 299. The Sunoco at 2199 North Ponds, 304. Your Sunoco at 450 South Ponds, 309. And uh, the Shell at 2350 North Ponds, 310. Then their Sitgo at 1099 South Ponds, 311. And that's their cash price. Oh, 311. Jeez. Yeah, usually cheaper for the cash price than every, anywhere else. Uh, of course, Chris Lucero Bail, Bron Bail Bonds brings us that gas report this morning. If you or someone you know are in trouble with the law, mm -hmm. we hope you're not. But if you are, Chris wants to get you out of jail, and he can do that very, very quickly. He's available for you 24-7 to provide fast and reliable bail services, ensuring that you or your loved one get out of jail and back to your real life as soon as possible. Give him a call, 904-822-BAIL. 904-822-2245. We got live music happening today and tonight. The J.C. Hatfield Trio at the Milltop Tavern at noon. Smoke and Joe Shower at bin 39 at 1 o'clock. Uh, Brett Blackshear at Trade Winds at 1. John Dickey at the Milltop Tavern at 4.30. Mark Hart, Trade Winds, 5. Jim Johnston, Prohibition Kitchen, 6 o'clock. Reggie Stared at Salt Life, 6 o'clock. Vange Durst, Harry's at 6. Smoke and Joe Shower at Ann O'Malley's at 6. A trivia with Blake. Oh, wow. Oh, Blake what is stepping feature. in and doing trivia. Cool. Does okay. that mean he gets the menu now? I don't know if Blake wow. gets to be on the menu now. Wow. Maybe. I have to stop in and see. Interesting. Uh, that's happening at Gypsy at 7. Get your reservations in. Special note here, get your reservations in. Yeah, that's important. And Salty Dog. Dog. D-A-U-G. At Trade Winds, 9 o'clock. Of course, Griffin brings us that live music mic check in the mornings. And uh, you know your home's comfort is their top priority at Griffin Service. They specialize in AC, plumbing and electrical services, and they do unique things like standby generators, water softeners, and gas work. They are the home of the free service call, not everybody does that, and upfront quotes. You can experience fast, friendly, and affordable service seven days a week. Give them a call at 904-500-2653 or visit griffinservice.com and see the Griffins. Very powerful Very Griffin. powerful. Yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, oh, we've got a terrible Tuesday here. Oh, okay. Terrible Tuesday for a woman who almost choked to death. Ooh. And then almost choked to death from the thing that she used to get her original choking thing out of her throat. Oh my, this is a double whammy. This here. is really, she's, somebody's, the universe is giving her a sign. Yeah, she needs to learn the Heinlich maneuver. <laughs> Maybe that's the <laughs> sign she's getting. Try a plunger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoa. Um, but before we get there, I will remind you that uh, Fidus Roofing supports a lot of local charities that support local kids in our area. Big Brothers and Big Sisters, their fire truck was out there yesterday. I Did saw you see that? that. Yeah. Love the Fidus fire truck. Uh, they uh, support the Boy Scouts of St. John's County and more. They're always looking to grow their team as well. So if you're looking for a great career that can help you afford to live here, maybe you should apply with them. They would encourage anybody to come and apply with them. They're master elite contractors for St. John's County, and that lets them offer warranties that nobody else can. Give them a call. Get them up on your roof for a roof inspection. 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers and gutters. That's a pretty good Troy impression right yeah, there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very guttural. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Woman nearly chokes to death on food and then swallows the toothbrush she tried to use to get it out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, what she's not having a good day. Oh, Hoover. Jeez. 21-year-old uh, woman uh, from Spain found herself in a weird situation after swallowing an entire toothbrush while attempting to dislodge a piece of turkey stuck in her throat on November 29th. Ay, solamente. Oof. Identified only as Hazia. Mm -hmm. Hazia. 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 Mm -hmm. By foreign media. She explained that while eating the turkey, she began choking. Ay. And with no immediate assistance available, grabbed a toothbrush mm. in an attempt to clear her airway. In a wild twist, 
Just as the turkey came loose, the toothbrush was inadvertently swallowed amid the struggle. Whole toothbrush. Entire toothbrush. This is like very telenovela though. Okay, keep going. <laughs> this is so telemundo. I love my people. Go ahead. Is that like Spanish soap operas? Oh, Am yeah, I right time. on that? This is so, I could just see how dramatic this was. The whole family's like, oh, pobrecito. And they're like waiting for her. She's like, Ugh! in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, uh, some of her family was there. Her father was there, but he had physical limitations. He was in a wheelchair oh, due my. to a damaged Achilles tendon. This poor family. It just gets even thicker, the plot. Okay. So she had to act independently. Uh, despite the startling incident, she experienced no pain during the ordeal, she says. Well, yeah, that adrenaline was going, man. Ay, no the pain dolor. sensors no, weren't there for sí, that. Muy fuerte. Uh, she was swiftly taken to a hospital where she detailed her unusual situation to the medical staff who were initially incredulous until x-rays confirmed that the toothbrush was indeed in her digestive system. <sighs> yeah. After three hours of examination, surgeons successfully removed the toothbrush in a 40-minute procedure while she was under sedation. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> remarkably, they did not uh, they did not have to make any incisions. Re that is remarkable. Yeah. They let's see. And they had copy, I guess. They no surgery. So instead, doctors they say skillfully extracted the toothbrush by looping its head with surgical twine and gently pulling it out of the esophagus. I can't. I'm done. I can't. I mean, at least she was under for that. At least she was under for that. <laughs> They lassoed it out they of her did mouth. La they lassoed the toothbrush. <laughs> they lassoed the toothbrush out of her throat. What in the Linda Hamilton? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, she found the toothbrush upon awakening on the bedside table, and she expressed immense relief at being able to breathe freely again after the startling and challenging experience. I love that they just left the toothbrush there next to her table for her to wake <laughs> up to and like, see? How dry was the turkey? I mean, I'm mm. already like rewinding here. Did you, was it, was it just dry? Uh, oh man. Yeah, lots of problems happening in that story. A toothbrush? Poor girl. Twice. You gotta figure she's only 21 and if this has happened to her twice in one day already. In one day. She needs to be very cautious with her throat going yeah, forward. Don't play the lottery anytime soon there. That's the end. Of <laughs> well, don't try to eat the tickets. Don't right. Maybe oh, stop. Just, just, just do like smoothies. Smoothies? Yeah. Right. Smoothies for the rest Sm of your life. Smoothies and just get food in Salad by maybe. <laughs> what did you say, Clay? <laughs> Oh, like soup and chicken broth. Right, right. yeah. Just no, the it. salad's dangerous. Those croutons, Davey. Oh, the well, croutons well, will no, get her. Wait, the soup's dangerous. She'll get the whole can. Yeah, that'll be <laughs> scary. She'll think that she's supposed to drink it from the can. Right, yeah. I, oh. <clears throat> tough life. Poor kid. This is what, you know, the fake meat is for. They're these kinds of people. <laughs> Beyond meat. <laughs> they can't handle the they real meat. They can't handle the real stuff. So okay. there you go, boo. You got to have the plastic meat. Ugh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. All right. Hey, did you guys see the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6? It is so finally excited. here. Yeah, yeah. It is finally here. <laughs> and it's Florida Man. Is it really? It's Flo it's it's you get to play as Florida Man. I guess Florida Woman. They literally have uh news clips on there, like fake news clips of Florida Man. Yes, they do. Fake yeah, they news. They were actual the Florida Man who get arrested here. The guy with the face tats. Right. <clears throat> right. How can we get? Is it on PS5 or no? I yeah, mean, it'll be. Well, I think it if, comes out close to the end of next year. Next if they year, they still have a PS. It might be PS6. Right. Oh, right. Good might be. Gracious. Uh, People been waiting for this Grand Theft Auto game. Yeah, it's man. been what ten years since they released the last one. Yeah, something it's been like a that. Wild, dude. It's yeah. Wild. Mm. So People been waiting. It's time. And the graphics look great. Cool. The experience looks amazing, man. But yeah. It looks like straight out of CSI Miami. Right, it does. Mm. Graphics. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Looks like a lot of fun, man. Big game. Mm -hmm. Should be, again, coming out. Uh, the trailer said 2025, but they oh. they might come out end of 2024. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I need something fresh. <laughs> That's it's, It looks good, man. I love watching people play Grand Theft Auto games. I don't play the Grand Theft Auto games. You don't play it? No. Neither. I just watch them. Oh. I don't actually have fun playing the Grand Theft Auto games because, I, like, I have fun for the first ten minutes. I was you steal some cars, stuff, you punch yeah. some people, That's you wreck, like, you know, yeah. you get in some police chases, and then it's like, okay, well, I've done everything to do in the game. Oh, I just keep like doing the chasing. But no, they have challenges and stuff. It's mm. you know. I watch people do the uh, the role play stuff. 
Me too. They, they pretend they're the characters. Yeah. You watch Crazy Casey? I don't. I watch uh, Lord Kebun. Oh, I don't watch that one. Yeah. Okay. There's all kinds of different ones. What do you do? A yeah. cop perspective or a regular or a criminal? Uh, you, th- well, right. A lot of people do the cop perspective. I do the criminal perspective. Yeah, I do yeah. the guy who's like the the getaway driver at banks okay. for people who rob banks. So, yeah, it's fun to watch. It is. All right, man. Uh, let's see. Anastasia Island chosen as the site for HGTV's 2024 Dream Home. Okay. Grand prize, 2.2 million bucks. That ain't bad. Not bad. Let's see. Uh, located on Anastasia Island, there is a home where, let's see, Coastal Comfort Chic, mm. were the words used to describe their dream home. Okay. Located on Anastasia Island. Very beach theme, I guess. The home is in its fifth HGTV dream. It's the fifth. Okay, the fifth. Okay, gotcha. Not written well. Located on Anastasia Island, the home is the fifth Mm. HGTV dream home in Florida. Oh, wow. So this is a thing. The home was designed by architect Michael Stauffer. Wow. Who, and built by local builder Glenn Layton Homes. Oh, very nice. Okay. Its interior design was by Brian Patrick Flynn. Are we just getting in all the shout-outs about the house? I love it. Sounds like a figure skater. Go ahead. Uh, It does actually kind of sound like a figure skater. Brian Patrick what? Yeah. Flynn. All right. Yeah. The three-bedroom, four-bathroom home is about 3,000 square feet with views of the Matanzas River and the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Hmm. The home combines classic coastal elegance, they say, with modern touches and layers of natural textures drenched in blue and white hues. I feel like they're giving me a script from HGTV. Yeah, you had me a drenched. Go ahead. Okay. (laughs) Upon entry, guests will see beautiful waterfront views. The front door leads to the great room. With an open concept that includes a living room with sleek sofas and a fireplace. Mm. A dining room with a beach-inspired distressed table. Uh, this, <laughs> these are details we don't need to know. Yeah, I'm just getting texture. And so this, much of this are details we don't couches. need to Sounds know. Sounds like you slide right off of them. Go ahead. The house has a couple <laughs> guest suites and oh, a loft. Nice. With a wet bar and a mini fridge. <laughs> Who says wet bar? <laughs> <laughs> The backyard is a <laughs> so stupid. We should have read th- the read this through Chat GPT to dumb it down a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's I've just, done that before. It's yeah, really good. It is. <laughs> the background is a gateway with an outdoor kitchen and a high top bar, mm-hmm. a pool with an elevated platform, and pergola. Is that how you say that? Yep, I guess. Okay. Yeah. We'll Too fancy for mine. Pergola. Me too. Pergola. Pergola. Okay. Pergola. Uh, pergola. I don't know anything about. Fancy houses. Meet me at the pergola, baby. <laughs> the <laughs> official entry period of the HGTV Dream Home is 2024 is 9 a.m. Eastern, December 22nd through 5 p.m. February 25th. So it's like a showroom. People can go look at this. I guess. No idea. I Are can't you take this that. House? I cannot take that from this article at all. <laughs> but we got chic and drenched. We got chic and drenched and distressed. Is this the gray one? Yeah, I don't know. It is. Is it's it? the great one. Yeah. I saw uh, Ariel Dad had it. I think he did some content the other day. So oh, okay. I, I saw that. Yeah. I guess. Did not <clears throat> see that. So it's a thing. I know they've been here for a while too, uh, making this house real pretty. So they give this house away? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. They say eligible fans can enter daily at hgtv.com and foodnetwork.com, where they will also find full details in the official rules as well as additional home features. Maybe you're winning some of those sleek couches or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, They're getting ready to remodel, and HGTV is going to give away their furniture. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big garage. Yeah, see? They need big... that. Multi-car. Wow, a lot going on. A great house. Nicer house than I'll ever live in. Beautiful. Very yeah. shiny. The winner of the sweepstakes. It's a sweepstakes. Okay. We'll receive. Glad they cleared that up in the last paragraph. Okay. We'll receive keys to the fully furnished home, a new Mercedes Benz E Class sedan. Okay. Whoa. I'm paying attention now, Sugar. Here we go. One hundred thousand dollars cash as well. Hey, that Whoa. doesn't go very far with a house like that. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not. No, it doesn't, That's sir. Like, yeah. That'll be your taxes for the first month. I was going HOA, but okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> The value of the total package estimated at just over 2.2 million bucks. Wow, m- 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 million. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah. Hey, somebody's going to have their life transformed. Good luck. Yeah, the flood insurance on that puppy is not going to be cheap. 
It's not a hundred grand. <laughs> well, I don't know. Mm. After a few years, it might be. So there you go. You can win your dream. You can win my dream home. <laughs> yeah. Looks like. Invite me over. Let me wrinkle it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring my dogs and we'll shake it there up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what they need. Dog Definitely. hair to welcome them in. You. Uh, oh, it's got a laundry room and a mud room. Let's sit between the kitchen. Isn't that the same thing? Uh, Apparently not. Oof. Thought they were the same. Hey, we got an elf holiday event coming through. I think Renee touched on this yesterday, but huh. uh, we'll tell you about it in the morning. St. Augustine Amphitheater presenting Elf Free Holiday Event. Nice. The Elf Free Holiday Event on Friday, December 15th at 7 o'clock. Doors open at 5.30. Hosted by the friends of the St. Augustine Amphitheater and embodying the spirit of the holidays, they say. Oh, very nice. Let's see. The Elf Free Holiday Event inspires parents, invites parents and children, I guess inspires them to go of all ages, and enjoy the evening with Santa Claus. Mm. Guests can watch the family-friendly film Elf and receive hot chocolate and popcorn. Okay. Nice. Contributions to aid the community are highly encouraged. The initial 300 children to join the event will receive a complimentary t-shirt. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. Admission is free. Happening again December 15th at 7 o'clock. Doors open at 5.30. St. Augustine Amphitheater located at uh, 340. We know where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the island. On the Island. <laughs> All right, Davey, how do you want to go through the comments today, man? All right, I'm going to tear through these uh, terrific comments from our fabulous people. Okay, there you go. As you do that, I will tell you about the fabulous people at Bates, Hewitt, and Floyd. They've been providing uh, insurance and peace of mind for you for over 40 years here in St. John's County. Uh, and they have that experience in homeowners, auto, commercial, and benefits. And that can be a valuable asset when you're navigating this unpredictable insurance market. They have the expertise to help you find just the right coverage for your needs. Christy is readily available at their St. Augustine office, which is conveniently located across from the hospital. Mm. Uh, she offers complimentary policy reviews. And that's helpful for anyone looking to ensure their insurance coverage is up to date and suitable for their needs. Give them a call 904-794-5455 or visit them at 165 South Park Suite C. Also, our friends at Willow and Main Beauty Bar, your hair's best friend. Are you tired of looking tired? Head over to Willow and Main. Feeling like your hair's in a rut? Willow and Main is your hair hut. Not sure where to fix your frame? Take your mug to Willow and Main from classic highlights to hair extensions. They do it all. Whether your hair is oily, crunchy, curly, straight, limp, or a little bit of a wimp, they'll whip it and clip it right into shape. Don't let a hair emergency stress you out. Give them a call today and book your next appointment. Check out their latest specials on their Instagram at Willow and Main Beauty Bar. And dudes, men's day is Wednesday. So there you go. Yeah. Get the beard touched up and stuff. Nice. And shout out to our friends at the Volano Holiday Village. Oh. Got a lot going on coming up this weekend. Yeah. They've got the Elf on the Shelf weekend. Yeah, book fair one. with local authors on Volano Beach in front of the Holiday Inn Express. Carol Abersold, the creator of Elf on a Shelf. Yep. Going to be there to read the book and sign copies as well. That's rare. Definitely do that. Uh, another showing of Elf the movie mm -hmm. will happen on at the Main Street Diner at the Holiday Inn Express. Nice. And Santa and Mrs. Claus are going to be out there this weekend. Cool. Yeah, man. In their Jeep. <laughs> and probably in their Jeep, yeah. yes. Next week, Sheriff Hardwick's going to be out there. So they're having a lot of fun every weekend. Awesome. Yeah, man. Uh, so big shout out to Volano Holiday Village. All right, man, what you got? All right, December 5th, 1933. Um, this is the 21st Amendment was repealed. Did you skip comments? Oh, my bad. I thought we went right into sort of stuff. No, comments, comments. We've got uh, 288 at Costco for gas. We've got a lot of prayers for St. John's County. Um, there is no menu for Blake. Also, the sweepstakes, oh. the house is in Pelican Reef. Oh, yes. oh, Pelican Reef. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And thank you, stars from BJ. Thank you so much, Bill. All right. Thank you, BJ. <clears throat> Um, all right, now, <laughs> Stoidum Stat. <laughs> Here we go. December 5th, 1933, the 21st Amendment was repealed by the 18th Amendment, ending the prohibition in the U.S. Uh, this marked in the achievement of the necessary majority. The prohibition was initiated in 1920. It failed uh, due to issues of enforcing sobriety, fostering organized crime, and losing public support. The 21st Amendment was passed in 1933 and officially ending the national prohibition. So uh, some states maintain temperance over the laws, but with Mississippi being the last to end the prohibition,
Prohibition in 1966. Wow, okay, they held on a little too long. Yeah, well, we didn't really care here in St. Augustine, if you really know. We were, like, totally thriving during the Prohibition with, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll in this town, honestly. Yeah, we were doing it all. Yeah, yeah. we yep. didn't care. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Oh, yeah, brought to you by... St. Augie's Pizza. Rock and roll. Get in there for some great pizza. You got to try that Cuban pie. Oh, so oh, good. Oh, man. Guys. Ridiculous. So good. Especially if you're a big fan of Cuban sandwiches. Yeah. You are going to love that. Game changer. Oh, yeah. Tell Augie we told you you need to get that in your life. Yeah. Um. All right. Plugs, Davey. What you got? Hey, we have Amy Angelilli coming in this afternoon to talk about her new project, the Third Space Improv Theater, that's coming out. All right. Yeah. Uh, Clay, what you got? Yeah. That. Uh, that too. All right. I will remind you to download the 904 Now app and check in on the FloridaManGames.com. Get your tickets while you can, and we'll see you out there. Davey and I will see you at three. Bye, Bye. everybody.